In January 2021, the state media of the Russian Federation released a story that shook the West. The McLean company was already working on a new sixth-generation hypersonic fighter, capable of reaching the incredible speed of Mach 4, and which would be the biggest predator in the airspace. In fact, the Sputnik portal assured that this project, known as the MiG-41, would be the most dangerous combat aircraft in Russia, since its cutting-edge technology would be combined with new-generation weapons, also with hypersonic capabilities, which would result in a lethal element for any enemy of the Kremlin, far surpassing the current Su-57. However, there are also many doubts about the state of the development of the long-awaited MiG-41, especially due to the economic difficulties that Russia has suffered from the sanctions imposed by the West after invading Ukraine. Speculations are growing day by day, and there are those who assure that the Russians seek to speed up the next-generation fighter project to enter combat over Europe, while other specialists bet that, due to the scarcity of resources, the new MiG will not see the light until 2030. Join us in a new episode of Military Aviation to learn about the current status of the ambitious sixth-generation fighter of the Russian Federation. The McLean Pak DP is a hypersonic combat aircraft project, presented as a concept at the end of the 2020s by the Russian company, and which received the informal name of MiG-41, because it was labeled as Project 41, although its official designation is still unknown. The development of this aircraft was extremely secret, surpassing even that of the stealthy Su-57, an aircraft that currently represents the maximum design capacity of the Eurasian giant. Not only is the MiG-41 expected to be a novel fighter, but the Russians have claimed that it will reach the incredible speed of Mach 4, and have even speculated that it could be Mach 4.3. This is approximately 5,000 km per hour, a figure that is twice the top speed of any other combat aircraft today, including the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The truth is that the news of the MiG-41 worried the West because the McQuayan company has a long tradition creating extremely capable aircraft, which achieve impressive speeds. An exemplary case is the MiG-25 Foxbat, the fastest fighter ever built, which passed the Mach 3 barrier, with a record of 3,600 km per hour and forced the United States to rethink its entire aeronautical design structure, to create fighters like the F-15 and F-16. But the news that worried the US in 2021 gradually began to lose weight, since nothing has been seen of the MiG-41 to date, and perhaps the most common question among fans of military aviation is, in what status is the project? The Russian Federation has a lot on its hands right now, and not just because it is carrying out an invasion against Ukraine, or because it has suffered hundreds of economic sanctions from the West. The MiG-41 is not the only aircraft being developed for the future, and that makes a lot of things difficult. At the end of 2021, a mysterious aircraft jealously covered with cloth could be seen, which was photographed being carted around the runways of a Russian airbase. This led some media to point out that it could be the ambitious MiG-41, but at the MAKS exhibition that year, specialized in air and space elements, Vladimir Putin himself revealed the great secret, it was not the Pak dp but the Su-75 Checkmate. Sukhoi was working on the design of a new stealth-capable single-engine light fighter, known as Checkmate, that would be a direct competition against the North American F-35 Lightning II, not only in combat, but also in the international market. And while the MiG-41 project is top secret, the Su-75 project is less so, allowing us to see a few things that explain the delay in development of both aircraft. Among the different sanctions that the West imposed against the Russian Federation, there are three that, it is believed, could have profoundly compromised the progress of aeronautical projects. Since February 2022, the Russians have not been able to buy semiconductors or other high-tech elements from the European Union, a region from which they imported a large part of the electronics necessary for their creations. At the same time, a ban on trading in US dollars is in place across Russian industry, severely limiting the market for critical avionics parts as well as cutting-edge components that allow McCoyan engineers to experiment with the PAKDP stealth.
Due to the high level of classification of the MiG-41 project, no media has been able to determine if it has indeed been delayed for these reasons, but the Sukhoi Su-75 has felt the blow. Its maiden flight was set for 2024, but, in 2022, spokesmen for the Sukhoi company assured that they would only be building experimental prototypes by that date. As for the MiG-41, it was expected to have a functional prototype by 2025, and the idea of introducing it into service in 2028 had even been fantasized, but everything indicates that we will not see this ambitious hypersonic aircraft until well into the 2030s. One of the reasons that make us believe in the delay is the little progress that has been made with the best Russian fighter today, the Su-57, which was introduced in 2020 and only 15 units have yet been built. Although no one doubts that the MiG-41 is and will be a reality for the Russian Federation, the Western media point out that its development will be extremely hampered by the political conflict between the United States and the Kremlin, in addition to suggesting that it is a propaganda movement and not a real threat today. Israel News has suggested that Russia's aerospace industrial base is too stretched out to give the MiG-41 the kind of attention it needs to move from concept to prototype, let alone series production. To this we must add the suspicions that the program is assuming a level of technological advance that does not exist. This ran counter to McCoyan CEO Ilya Tarasenko, who speculated that the MiG-41 would not only reach speeds of Mach 4.3, but would also be equipped with an anti-missile laser, integrate state-of-the-art stealth technology, and be capable of to operate at very high altitudes and even in near space, between 12,000 and 45,000 meters. The Russian businessman also stated that it could be transformed into an unmanned version later, which does not sound so far-fetched when we consider that the North American industry pursues this same ideal. Beyond the fact that Mikoyan has always been a pioneer in the field of military aviation, the truth is that the economic blows against the Russian Federation are becoming more and more evident, and many of them explicitly seek to stop its development of war materials. While the MiG-41 will be a reality, it's unlikely we'll see the sixth-generation fighter taking to the skies of Eurasia before the decade is out. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. Stay tuned for our next video.